Hey everybody, it's Big Mama Sag from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope you're all well. Pardon me. Okay, we did fire, we did earth, air, it's your turn. So, this general elemental will be for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. Go forth, do you vibrate high, live the best life you want to live. It is your free will to do so if you so choose. If you don't take a message out of it, that's okay too. It just wasn't your reading. So, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. First card out from the bottom of the deck will be the overall energy for all air signs in the current moment. The next three cards out will be for each individual zodiac. One for Gemini, one for Libra, one for Aquarius, and then we will clarify from there as needed. Eight of Swords Reversed. I like it. I'm feeling like you're coming out of that state of having a self-imposed cage. That's awesome. Gemini, Ten of Wands Reversed. Libra, Six of Cups reversed. Aquarius, Six of Pentacles in the upright. So, okay. Gemini. Are you having a little bit of trouble releasing a burden? Well, here's the good news. You're not all in a self-imposed cage of your own thoughts about it. Let's see what we can do, huh? Universe, tell me a little more about this burden. Temperance, Four of Cups. Hmm, okay. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Could be a water sign, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. P.S. I'm feeling a lot of Sagittarian energy with this. Take it however it resonates. Again, doesn't have to be. The signs aren't important. Unless that what's that's what's making the connection for you, then it's important. But you know, temperance speaks of flow, balance, patience. But for cups, I, I call it my coulda, woulda, shoulda, didn't card. So perhaps the things are going well, and you're being patient in a situation. You're feeling like maybe you're the person you're dealing with could have handled things a little bit differently. And it's slightly burdensome and you just can't make yourself release the burden. Five of cups. You're sad. All you're looking at is the three spilt cups. You're not looking at the two that are still full. You're having a hard time counting your blessings in this situation. Nine of wands. Your guard is up. Two of Swords, and you're at a crossroads, and a decision's being made. Logical, thought-out decision, but you're juggling swords, so this is going to be painful. Empress reversed. Mm -hmm. 
She is the mom of the tarot. She is newness. She is birth. She is renewal. She's reversed. She's not feeling the love. Also a Gemini card. Just, just, just so you're aware. Nine of Cups reversed. Six of Wands reversed. Someone in this situation could possibly be overindulging. Feeling not so victorious at the end of the battle. Seven of Cups. Confusion. How did we get from balance to confusion? We failed to release a burden. Something could have been handled differently in the past, but you can't change the past. You cannot change what has already been done. You cannot rewrite what has been etched in stone. You can only change your future. You can only change your outcome. Speaking of outcomes, Nine of Swords reversed. At the very least, you're not going to be kept up all night by this. Throw one more on that. Five of Swords, conflict in the shadows. Gemini. You can change this outcome. So, wherever you're at in this situation, analyze what has happened. You cannot change what has already been done. All you can change is how you approach it from here. Okay? So, you can change your outcome. Let's get some advice for you. Peace. That's a beautiful card. Wisdom of the Oracle, Colette Baron Reed. Amazing. I think Emma got this off Amazon. Pretty sure it might might not have been Amazon. I know she got it somewhere online. I'm pretty sure it was Amazon. I'll have to ask her next time I talk to her. She's in the process of packing up and moving right now, so. Oh, when two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours, and it is to be savored. Blink, blink, blink. Okay. Find your peace with it. Maybe you're just a little bit out of tune with each other. Spend more time outdoors. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. I think I'm going to give you guys one more. Doran Virtue, Archangel Michael. Another beautiful, beautiful deck. I think I got that from Books A Million. Almost positive. Write about your thoughts and feelings. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I... Clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. Okay. <clears throat> Libra. You have a six of cups reversed. You are just kind of like not... <sighs> you're missing somebody. But you're looking bad on the bad stuff. 
You're looking back on the negative aspects of the past. You're not looking back on the positive. It's probably not the best mindset to be in, just saying. But you're not all up in your head and occasion your own thoughts about it. Page of Cups reversed, Three of Cups reversed. Again, you're looking back on the bad and emotionally closing yourself off. Not coming together with this person. There is no reunion. There is no happiness. There is no celebration. Three of swords in the upright. There is heartbreak. It still hurts. You're not as consumed by it as you once were. But it still hurts. So. What do we do about that? Eight of cups. Judgment. I always, uh, I always get a little weirded out by this card during a retrograde because this is the bringing something back from the dead card. So, Eight of Cups, Judgment. This is how I'm going to read this for you. Move forward from this pain and resurrect you bring you back from the dead because I think right now you're kind of in a head space and a heart space where you feel like part of you died with the relationship don't don't put yourself there Libra don't put yourself there why, why are you doing that to yourself resurrect you tower reversed You're fighting a collapse. Hmm. Magician upright, ten of swords upright. The tower has already fallen. You're in a time frame currently right now where your words and your thoughts are very much in tune with source. So you need to be careful right now. You speak it or you think it, it could very well happen. So start thinking and speaking positive thoughts. Positive thoughts, positive words. You got a ten of swords. The pain is going to come to an end. But you have to allow it. I get it. It hurts. If you keep telling the universe that you're still in pain, the universe won't allow you to heal. You have to manifest your own healing. You can't rebuild a tower. I mean, unless you want to try. You know, it's your free will to do whatever you want. It's your journey. But, if you want this pain to end, you have to resurrect you. And you have to rebuild your tower. The way you want it. Pain free. Queen of Swords. She's icy, but she's honest. One more. Ten of Pentacles. I'm not saying be iced over and cold. I'm saying be logical. Move on. Resurrect your own healing. Resurrect you. Allow the dust to settle. Manifest the end of your own pain. Be logical and be honest with yourself 
and you'll get your Ten of Pentacles ending. Okay. Justice reversed at the bottom of the deck. Oh, Queen of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. Regain your balance and let your hair down a little bit. Chill. Relax. Okay. Pull a Wisdom Oracle for you. I'm feeling another shuffle. New life. Somebody else just got new life. I want to say it was Capricorn. But I'm kind of feeling it resonating with you too. New energy enters old relationships, and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives way to spring. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion, and hearts full of joy. This card is a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnership in all forms. Let winter give way to spring, or summer give way to fall, you know, however it's resonating with you. Time heals all wounds. When someone leaves your life, it was to make room for somebody else. It's to make room for the one that's supposed to be there. Resurrect you. Regain your balance. Have confidence. I think Capricorn got this one too. Archangel Michael, please lend me courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one... With all that is divine, wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health, allow me to feel confidence, confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. Aquarius. Hi. You have the Six of Pentacles. Are we in a state of balance, or is that what we are seeking? Oh, Aquarius, I'm loving it. Page of Wands in the upright, Queen of Cups in the upright. You are coming out of this state, of this cage of your own thoughts. You have attained balance. You got your mojo back. You're feeling the unconditional love. Hermit. Perhaps you've gone inside, found the inner light, done some spiritual work, done your necessary healing. Okay, Eight of Pentacles in the upright, Nine of Pentacles in the upright. You're concentrating on work. You've worked on you. Nine of Pentacles. You've retained your independence. Empowerment. Probably been extremely successful. Knight of Pentacles. Something has gone stagnant. I mean, he moves slow on a good day. When he's upside down, he ain't moving at all. So, what just happened here? 
Moon card reversed. King of Swords reversed. Things are going too good. Something's fishy. Mm. Aquarius, really? Mm. Can't you just let it be going good? Mm. Why you gotta overthink everything? Stop overthinking everything. Mm. Why you gotta do that? Six of Swords. You need to move forward from negativity of the past. You're going. Things are going good. Just let them go. Let them be. Let them progress naturally. Let them move forward as they're supposed to. But, you know, it's your journey. You don't have to listen to me. I just read the damn cards. Ace of Pentacles. Better things are coming. Bottom of your deck. Hanged Man reversed. Knight of Wands upright. <sighs> One more. Ace of Swords. Okay. Don't allow yourself to stay stuck in negativity. I'm going to say this again. If things are going well, allow things to go well. Don't question it. Because you're only going to bring yourself back up to here. You don't want to bring yourself back up to here. You want things to go forward. You want things to go forward as they're supposed to. Wonderful things are coming for you. Wonderful things are happening for you, but you have to move on from the negativity of the past and stop saying to yourself, oh, things are going too well. It's about to all go to crap. You can't do that to yourself, Aquarius. Don't do that to yourself. Stop overanalyzing everything. It's upside down. Leave it upside down. That's not a card you want right side up. Higher power. Number four. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential in your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. I'm making the connection, are you? If spirit is working for the good in your life, don't fight it. Again, you manifest your own destiny. Go forward fearlessly. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my life's true purpose. Okay, air signs. 
bottom of your deck, two of wands reversed. Don't stay at the fork in the road and just stand there lost. Pick a path. Choose wisely, but it's your journey. I can't tell you what to do. I just read the cards. Okay, guys, know that you're loved. Be blessed, and I will catch you guys in a couple of weeks for another elemental, and I'll start rolling out with the um, monthly zodiacs for August later this week. Bye-bye for now.